वेलकम आई मारुति सिंह एंड यूर ट्यून इन टू माई इंडिया India's economy continues its upward trajectory with robust growth across multiple sectors and the latest GDP figures show promising expansion that is fueled by investments consumption and government initiatives and despite global challenges India still remains a beacon of growth attracting international investors and bolstering domestic confidence The IMF has now predicted that India is poised to surpass Japan in nominal GDP by 2025. India stands as an untapped economic powerhouse, offering vast opportunities for growth, innovation, and investment globally. Fueled by a large and youthful population, economic reforms and a booming digital economy the nation's journey to a 3.7 trillion dollar economy in 2023 surpassing the united kingdom marks a moment of pride recent projections by the international monetary fund the imf suggest india's ascent to the fourth largest economy by 2025 overtaking japan and to the third position by 2027 surpassing germany with a projected 5.4 trillion dollar economy. This growth story is diversified, spanning vibrant manufacturing, thriving services including IT and outsourcing, showcasing India's dynamic economic landscape. Economic experts believe that the government's focus on nurturing unicorns in the country has also contributed to an economic boom. the world economy is not doing very well and in this not so doing well uh, global economy geopolitical tensions india seems to be doing very well we have a more than 7% almost double the more than double the world growth rate so uh, that is one factor very high sustainable uh, high growth rate second factor is that uh, there has been an anti china sentiment and a number of Uh, countries and companies are also looking at building resilient supply chain and india as a large population fit into their uh, thought process india's economic growth is propelled by significant domestic demand that is boosted by its population surpassing that of china in 2023 making it the world's largest and this coupled with caution surrounding investment in china has led to increasing attraction to india among investors from advanced economies india's rise as a favored hub for capital infusion and business ventures is driven by its vast economic potential demographic advantage and an increasingly favorable regulatory environment for foreign investment these factors enhance india's allure as a promising destination for global capital and entrepreneurial endeavors Experts also suggest that India must expand its foreign trade potential to realize its ambition of becoming one of the world's top 3 economies. The diversification of foreign trade of in India has to be diversified in a much more a wider way you know like i mean we know that a uh, 21st century is going to be a era of asia pacific division and without india asia pacific is immaterial you know it doesn't exist if india's uh, uh, presence and india's contribution is not there in asia pacific division so we have to expand our bilateral ties our multilateral ties our trade links with uh, more you know with uh, in a much more wider way with the african countries with the latin american countries with the southeast asian countries east asian countries and the small island nations of pacific the government of india's defense sector reforms including make in india and atmanirbhar bharat or self reliant india have reinforced indigenous manufacturing and reduced reliance on imports with increased budget allocation infrastructure development and private sector participation India's defense exports have in fact surged while imports have declined. These reforms not only enhance national security but also drive economic growth and job creation, positioning India as a global defense leader. We are getting lot of interest for most of our products from abroad and I'm sure over the coming years exports are going to become a very important part of our portfolio. 
So, so far, a lot of our hull mounted sonars, lightweight torpedo, we have exported radars, we have now a lot of interest on Pinaka, A tags, then we have also now receiving interest for Brahmos, of course, we have exported to Philippines and we are receiving interest for other countries. Akash is seeing a lot of interest. Recent years have seen the Indian government enact substantial reforms aimed at enhancing efficiency and attracting foreign investment. Measures such as the bankruptcy code and stricter tax regulations strengthen the economy and ensure fairness across the board. Additionally, new real estate laws and improved lender protection instilled confidence among investors. These actions signal India's commitment to good governance and continued growth. Keep calm and pedal on. While well, cycling is not only one of the most environmentally friendly modes of transportation, but can also keep riders in a good shape. In fact, in recent years, the craze for cycling has increased significantly in India. And this has led to a considerable surge in bicycle sales. So let's take a closer look at the growing cycling community in India and how the country's growing passion for cycling is benefiting the Indian cycling industry in general. At dawn, a bustling spectacle unfolds. Scores of people, young and old, ride bicycles on streets, some solo, others in groups, marking a growing craze for cycling amongst Indians. In the past, cycling was often viewed as a transportation option primarily for the lower classes. However, as times have changed, people from all backgrounds have embraced cycling with enthusiasm. Today, even individuals who own luxury cars are choosing to cycle for health and fitness, regardless of age or gender. The activity has become increasingly inclusive, appealing to a wide range of people. एक फिटनेस का जो एक जज्बा है जो मेरी एज 56 है तो मैं आई एम कैपेबल ऑफ राइडिंग जो है कि मैं 400 500 600 700 किलोमीटर तक मैं राइड कर सकता हूं तो ये एक जो स्टैमिना हमने गेन किया ड्यूरिंग द इयर्स ये एक अचीवमेंट हमारे सभी मेंबर्स के लिए और ग्रुप के लिए आफ्टर द कोविड-19 पेंडेमिक पीपल हैव बिकम मोर कॉन्शियंशियस अबाउट देयर हेल्थ प्लेसिंग अ ग्रेटर एम्फसिस ऑन फिटनेस Many individuals are opting for cycling as it provides numerous health benefits and is also environmentally friendly. In Jalandhar city in India's Punjab, this businessman and his young relative cycle for an hour every morning, maintaining their fitness levels admirably. I love cycling. Actually, कोविड के बाद जब मैंने इसको स्टार्ट किया मुझे पता नहीं था इसको मैं एक प्रोफेशनल वे में ले जाऊंगा बट जब मैं साइकिलिंग करता हूं तो मैं अपने आप को स्ट्रेस फ्री फील करता हूं विद अ ग्रोइंग पॉपुलैरिटी ऑफ साइकिलिंग न्यूमरस कंपनीज इन द इंडस्ट्री आर नाउ मैन्युफैक्चरिंग बाइसिकल्स दैट आर इक्विप्ड विद लेटेस्ट टेक्नोलॉजी लुधियाना फॉर इंस्टेंस इन पंजाब स्टैंड्स आउट एज द हाईएस्ट प्रोड्यूसर ऑफ बाइसिकल्स इन इंडिया and the demand for bicycles is not only significant within the country but it also extends to foreign markets India is the world's second largest bicycle producer in recent years the demand for cycles has surged broadening india's bicycle industry scope numerous cycle manufacturers in india are working hard to meet the increasing demands in both domestic and international markets In Ludhiana, advanced technology equipped bicycles are being manufactured, garnering popularity even in foreign countries. Consequently, this industry has significantly contributed to the Make in India, Make for the World campaign. A testament to this was recently witnessed in America, where Made in India bicycles were launched in a prominent store. COVID ke baad jo jitne bhi European countries hain, American countries hain. वो चाइना से बाहर निकलना चाहते हैं पहले वो सब साइकिलें चाइना से ज़्यादा इंपोर्ट करते थे लेकिन वो चाइना से बाहर निकलना चाहते हैं और वो 
उसका अल्टरनेटिव देख रहे हैं तो इनको इंडिया सबसे बड़ा अच्छा अल्टरनेटिव नज़र आया हमारे पास भी अच्छे कस्टमर्स आए हैं हमने 2023-23 में कम से कम कोई डेढ़ लाख साइकिल हमने यूरोप एक्सपोर्ट करी है और आगे भी बड़े अच्छे स्कोप नज़र आ रहे हैं क्योंकि जो साइकिल गई है उनको पसंद आई है और रिपीट ऑर्डर हमको देना चाहते हैं उसके अलावा और भी कस्टमर हमारे पास आ रहे हैं ये बहुत अच्छी अपॉर्चुनिटी इंडिया को मिली है According to research by ASD Reports, a total of 11.44 million units of bicycles were sold in India in the financial year 2022. Sales are expected to reach 14.43 million units by financial year 2027, expanding at a compound annual growth rate of 5.5% during the financial year 2023 to 2027 period. The bicycle industry has benefited significantly from various government schemes like Make in India and Self-Reliant India. The increasing trend towards cycling is not only benefiting people's health but is also making a significant contribution to environmental conservation. Moving on, in a heartwarming display of communal harmony, this time we will take you to India's Lakshadweep island. Considered one of the most ideal travel destinations in India, the island of Lakshadweep is a living testament to love and brotherhood in the country. In a remarkable instance, a Muslim artist received praise from locals for sculpting idols of Hindu gods without any formal training in murti making. Well, this gesture not only showcases Sharia Koya's talent but also underscores the spirit of inclusivity and mutual respect that's prevailing in the region. So stay tuned as we delve deeper into this inspiring story of unity amidst diversity. Known for its pristine beaches, turquoise waters and vibrant marine life, the islands of Lakshadweep in southern India offers a tranquil escape from the chaotic world. However, beyond that, the Union Territory is also blessed with the intertwined cultural and ethnic identities which foster love and brotherhood in the region. With that, the region unfolds multiple instances of harmony and generosity. As an instance, a former serviceman, PP Charya Khoya, Muslim by faith, sculpted idols of Hindu gods on the devity soldiers in Lakshadweep. wherein the people on the other side welcomed the gesture with open arms ye to mera pita ji carving karte the main pita ji ke last tak main hu ek ladka tha isliye pita ji se sab kuch seekh liya main bachpan se hi jo pita ji jo karta tha wo sab maine bhi thoda bahut karne ka ek bachcha jaise karte the इसे देखो मेरे को कार्रवाई के बहुत खुशी से मैं करता हूँ अभी भी तो ए, मुझे सबसे पेंटिंग के ज्यादा कार्विंग मुझे आज भी पसंद है चरिया कोया स्कल्प्ट द आइडल ऑफ लॉर्ड हनुमान इन अंदरूत आइलैंड and Lord Ganesha in Kavarati temple after the request of the Madhya Pradesh special force which was posted there in the 1970s beyond a religious site for worship the temple in the region is an ideal place for social gathering cultural exchange and entertainment moreover there is no discrimination among people there as whoever believes in sanatan dharma comes there and offer prayers together hum log ayar battalion mein hum log pura mil kar ke pura hamare सब साहब लोग ऑफिसर सभी लोगों ने मिल कर के बड़ा खुशी से हम लोग यहाँ पर पूजा पाठ करते हैं हर एक शनिवार को यहाँ पर भजन भाव जिस तरह से आपने देखा कि यहाँ पर प्रसाद और भजन भाव का भी कीर्तन का भी आयोजन करते रहते हैं Instances like these not only fosters a strong bond among communities in the society but also makes the world a better place to live in Now let's delve into World in Focus featuring the latest global developments and events shaping our world.
from statues of himself and flower shaped decorations to model houses in presentation bottles Egyptian carpenter and artist Ahmed Al Sirafi makes a variety of artwork from waste wood found at his carpentry workshop. Since 2018, Al Sirafi started upcycling materials like wood, paper, and glass to make statues, lamps, and other artistic products. Al Sirafi says that he produces these handmade original works of art that machines are not able to make. El Sarafi has participated in various local exhibitions in the Nile Delta city of Demita where he is based and in Cairo but hopes to participate in international exhibitions outside of his country someday. India, a land steeped in history and spirituality, embodies a rich tapestry of cultures, traditions and ancient wisdom. At the heart of India's spiritual essence lies Varanasi. This ancient city stands out as a testament to India's deep-rooted spiritual and cultural legacy. Varanasi's ghats, temples and intricate alleys are not just symbols of a city, they are portals to India's timelessness, inviting visitors to immerse themselves in a journey through history, spirituality and culture. So come, let's explore Varanasi. Varanasi, known as Kashi or Banaras, stands as a timeless testament to human history. At its heart flows the Ganga, worshipped as more than a river, a living goddess of spiritual purity. The gods of Varanasi, where life converges and rituals intertwine, echo with the symphony of dawn and daybreak, bells and chants rising to the divine. <laughs> Devotees seek solace in the sacred waters, drawn by the allure of transcendence. The lanes of Varanasi are a living museum, where ancient architecture, vibrant markets, and the tasks of daily life intertwine beautifully. These narrow lanes also lead to hidden gems, like the Kashi Vishwanath Temple, dedicated to Lord Shiva. The temple stands as a symbol of Varanasi's spiritual heritage and attracts devotees from far and wide. Just a few miles from Varanasi, near the confluence of the Ganga and Varuna rivers, is located Sarna, one of the holiest Buddhist sites in the world. It is the famous place where Gautam Buddha delivered his first sermon. Varanasi has a long recorded history of more than 2,000 years. So uh, probably the most remarkable would be visit of Gautam Buddha near Sarnath and from there most of the Buddhist monks and also the monks coming from the other sects they must be having a dialogue around 6th century BC or so and in the subsequent ages. Then also we have got uh, the rulers who were very famous for their military achievements, conquests and they always wanted this region of Gangetic Plain under their control. So various dynasties also have their rules here. Varanasi's ancient streets are filled with just as ancient homes, where history resides in every brick, creating a mosaic. Take, for example, the ancestral home of the Ratnakar family near the Shivalagad, a testament to Varanasi's architectural legacy. Passed down for approximately 250 years, this house embodies traditional Varanasi architecture.
with wooden facades adorned with latticework, small courtyards, and iconic jarocas or overhanging windows. It preserves the essence of a bygone era. So my family is quite old in Varanasi. I am the eighth generation living in this house in Varanasi. Uh, quite famously, I belong to the uh, family of Kavi Jagannatha Satnakarji. He was a renowned poet of his time. Uh, his grandfather was the one who settled in Varanasi. We have this Bunasi gate entrance. Uh, you know, that was a desi form of uh, engineering, which we came up with, which I think a lot many people in Varanasi have come up with. Uh, uh, this is for, the, uh, for enabling the entrance when we are living, in, when the family is living in on the first floor. There's an angan in every house. That is the place where, uh, you know, all the ventilation and sunlight uh, is circulated throughout the house, through, through the angans. All these jharukas, so these jharukas were for the ladies to join a function happening in this house. Uh, initially, uh, or back in those days, there was this parda system where the women were not supposed to join the function in the house uh, on the floor. So they could see the function or they could be a part of this function from upstairs. Varanasi's heritage transcends borders, drawing visitors worldwide to uncover its mysteries, absorb its wisdom, and bask in its enduring charm. Its inclusivity, diversity, and hospitality create a welcoming environment for cultural exchange and spiritual exploration. Here, every step echoes with history, spirituality, and cultural richness, where the past merges with the present, and Heritage's legacy unfolds through the ages. I'm here in Varanasi for the spiritual part of India. I know this is a very spiritual place, and I can see the devotion of the people everywhere you, we see Lingam, right? Uh, it's a very spiritual place, um, and you can see everything in this place, right? Um, it's different. It, it's different from uh, anywhere in the world. And it's the most, uh, how do I say, it's the Asian city, the most ancient city in the world. Varanasi holds immense significance as a pilgrimage site, drawing devotees from all corners of the globe to its sacred shores. Many seek purification in the Holy Ganga, aiming to cleanse sins and attain salvation. Each evening, crowds converge at the Shashwamid Ghat for the revered Ganga Arti, joining in prayer and connecting with the river's spiritual essence. The traditions, customs and artist expressions of India are incredibly diverse with each region adding its unique flavour to the cultural tapestry. And among these, the northwest region of Rajasthan stands out for its vibrant traditions. Puppetry, in particular, holds a special place in Rajasthan's cultural heritage, serving as a vital link to preserve the area's rich history, folklore and customs. Across generations, families of puppeteers have nurtured and refined this art form, ensuring its continuity and evolution over the centuries. So let's explore this fascinating aspect of Rajasthan's cultural legacy. India's northwestern state, Rajasthan, is undeniably captivating, boasting a rich tapestry woven with history, art and culture. From the majestic forts and palaces echoing tales of long-ago eras, to the bustling bazaars brimming with vibrant textiles and intricate handicrafts, Rajasthan casts a spell on all who visit. Known as the Land of Kings, Rajasthan truly offers a sensory feast at every turn. One captivating facet of the region's cultural depth is the art of puppetry, which spans from traditional folk tales and myths 
to original narratives exploring contemporary themes. Puppet makers play a significant role in celebrating Rajasthan's uniqueness by honoring its culture, history, traditions, and artistic legacy through the creation of beautifully crafted puppets and engaging performances. Renowned for their expertise, the Bot community of Rajasthan's Kaputli Nagar meticulously handcrafts exquisite puppets at home, adorning them with clothing, ornaments, and other embellishments. We go to the Agra Road from Jaipur. We take this tree. We cut it in this way. We load it and we take it to the house. Then, with this tree, we take this shape of this shape. We make this shape. फिर इस इस औजार की मदद से ऐसी कटिंग करके करते हैं हम फिर उसके बाद में इस पे चौक मिट्टी होती है घिसाई होती है फिर वार्निश होता है फिर पेंट होता है और फिर उसके बाद में कपड़े पहनाए जाते हैं इनको Puppet makers employ traditional artistic techniques passed down through generations, ensuring that each puppet is crafted with precision and attention to detail, showcasing the artisan's skill and creativity. The materials used in making puppets are often locally sourced and include wood, cloth and strings, giving them an authentic and indigenous feel. The elaborate attire of the legless puppets is designed to resemble Rajasthani clothing from the Middle Ages. Puppeteers manipulate the puppets using movements from their hands and arms, controlling devices such as rods or strings to animate the body, head, limbs, and sometimes even the mouth and eyes of the puppet. Working in teams, puppeteers coordinate their actions to ensure a seamless performance. In addition to entertaining audiences for decades, puppeteers from Rajasthan have successfully represented India in numerous festivals abroad. मेरे यहाँ के काफी लोग विदेश जाते हैं, उनको प्रोग्राम में जो है सरकारें इनवाइट करती हैं, जब भी कोई ऐसा बहुत बड़ा उत्सव होता है, तो यहाँ से इंडिया से वो पत्र लिखते हैं। सरकार को और ये फिर यहाँ से कुछ लोगों को जो चुनिंदा लोग हैं और जो वास्तव में मतलब यानी कि कला में बहुत ज़्यादा प्रकरण हैं उनको सरकार अवेयर करके और वहाँ ऐसे उस तोमों में भेजती है और वहाँ से काफी इनको पैसा मिलता भी है और ये लोग वहाँ जाके भी आते हैं। From traditional puppet theaters in small villages to elaborate puppet festivals drawing crowds from far and wide. Puppetry possesses a unique ability to captivate audiences of all ages and backgrounds. In many cultures, puppetry acts as a bridge to the past, safeguarding ancient stories, myths, and traditions that might otherwise fade away. Through puppet performances, these narratives are vividly brought to life, enabling communities to re-establish connections with their roots and transmit their cultural heritage to future generations. Puppetry in India seamlessly blends tradition with innovation, conveying cultural richness and social messages, captivating audiences both locally and globally. That's all for today's show, but we will see you next week at the same time. So till then, goodbye and take care.